Okay. I, <laughs> ah, okay, my cat is like walking all over the place. There's her tail, you can see it. Okay, let's see if this is working. I, let's see if the stream is up. Okay, it looks like it's up. So, I'm going to start playing. Let's see if anyone, ah, okay. Ah, my cat is just like pressing her head into my hand and all that. Okay, so this game, Hyperbolica, was created by my friend Code Parade, and he just released it on Pi Day, which is today. So I think just like 12 hours ago, maybe like 16 hours ago, it was released to the public for the first time. Okay, let's see if chat people are coming into the stream yet. Okay, I see chat people. Here we go. Let me say hi to 10 people. Pop out chat. We're going to put it in the stream, okay? You guys, stream chatters. Wait, can you see this? Is my webcam's kind of... Oh, you can see that, okay. Stream chatters. Am I too loud? I'm too loud. Stream chatters. You are in the stream video too. Hooray. That's how I spell hooray. Okay, so I'm gonna say hello to Adriano Gamer. That's one. Two pro plays. Pointing light. Mooney Eclipsey. UI two two seven. Captain Calvin. Anima Benny. Fenlin Yan. Cold Soda. Rice Studios. Teddy Weddy. Kenneth Sija, and many many more. Okay, so oh, Office Man Robot Seven says they're sick today. Sick today. I'm sorry to hear that. I know that um, disease can be quite uncomfortable. And even worse than that. Um, but hopefully this stream cheers you up. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so Hyperbolica is a game all about uh, hyperbolic space. You know, we, li we live in a Euclidean universe, which means that parallel lines never intersect. And they um, everything sort of makes sense. Let me just play the game. So I'm going to click New Game. Okay, so I've actually already played this game during like beta testing, so I know how it starts and how it ends. But this is the first time it's actually public. Oh, I'm, I'm too loud again. I keep going to the red. Okay. Um, so this is the first time I'm playing it publicly. So I'm gonna pretend like this is my first reaction. Like I'm going in. Okay, all right class, settle down. Okay, we're in like a classroom. Does anybody have, does everyone have their brain link fully charged and calibrated? Let's see, okay, so these are the, these are like the famous hyperbolic characters, like with the little robot eyes. Great, let's get started. Welcome to the Virtual Reality Learning Center. This sort of reminds me of, um, Neuralink, which I think is that thing by Elon Musk that, that isn't official yet. Please, please check that you are in the right room. You won't be receiving any credit if you're logged into the wrong room. So this is sort of like a, an academic school classroom setting. I see some dodecahedrons on the wall. I'm Mrs. Euclid. I don't know if that's a play on the word Euclid. And I'll be your geometry teacher this semester. Geometry is such a fun and exciting sub- Oh my god, we blinked. Okay, blinking, that, that means something's happening, okay? Let's go over the basics, shall we? Theorem number one. Every score has four right angles. I think that's quite true. You can count, count them with me. One, two, three, four... Okay, that seemed kind of patronizing. You already know that. Um, let me okay. Uh, theorem number two. Par wait, wait. I just realized my little webcam thing is covering up the, the chat thing. I'll make myself smaller because you, you don't need to see my face. You need to see the game face. Okay. Uh, also, let me have the chat visible because I haven't been responding to you. Carrie versus Orange Carrie. Lollipop came out for a second there. Um... Oh, Imagination says, I think I have the same 5x5. Five five. I think this 5x5 five five is from 2018. I don't remember what type it is, but it, it used to turn nicely. Now it's filled with dirt. So it turns very slow. <laughs> okay. Theorem 2. Parallel lines stay the same distance apart. So that's what I was referring to about our Euclidean universe. Theorem number 3. The circumference of a circle is pi times the di diameter. That makes it relevant for today, pi day, because it's 314. Hey chat, how many digits of pi do you have memorized? Let me know. Wait, okay, I keep, I keep doing this wrong. I need to have the chat window visible so I can see what your responses are. 
Okay, somebody as me says, do you have a McDonald's toy? No, I don't. Um, let's see. Fif okay, Data is Our World says 15. And Captain Kaplan 86 Gamer says 3. Well, 3 is all you need to know for any level of school. Um, I know there's a competition at my school, and some people me memorize over 100, but I only got to 50. And what better way to reinforce these concepts than with homework? My favorite part. That's my least favorite part. Oh, that was, that was another blank, so something's happening. Okay. Whoa. Is this the homework? These are a bunch of various problems. Oh my god, are, are we unconscious? Guys, oh my gosh! What's happening? All these lights! This is like... It's it's like there there's some sort of like shiny metal grid. Oh my god, I see all this chromatic aberration. You know where the red, green, and blue split? Chromatic aberration. And then okay, okay, I don't know what's happening. Oh what's happening? Is this what it's like to fall asleep? Ooh, we're blinking, we're blinking. Hello. Hey, how are you? Oh hi. Did you come from the virtual learning center? I did. Me too. Wow, we have so much in common. Ha ha ha. Like two peas in a pod. I'm Cornelius. Nice to meet you. And welcome to Hyperbolica. Oh my gosh, that means we're officially in the hyperbolic world. It's a hyper- that's what I just said, Cornelius. Stop taking the words out of my mouth. It's only for extremely cool people like us. Ha ha. But I'm just being hyperbolic, lol. I'm an amateur stand-up comedian. That means I don't get paid yet. Oh, you want to know more about Hyperbolica? Right, right. Well, it might look like you're on a little planet, but that's just an illusion. Really, it's just the opposite. And I and I guess lines always diverge here because of, like, geometry or something. Hmm, maybe I'm not so good at explaining this. You should see for yourself. But it's really easy to get lost here, so you'll definitely need a map. You should talk to the Oracle. I think they're in the caravan down the path. Once they give you the map, I'll tell you an, about an important quest. Super important. Have a look around, but take breaks if you need to. Hyperbolic can make some people dizzy. I know that you can play this game on VR, like with a headset, so that would make it like easier to get dizzy because it's like all around you. Whereas here, it's just like a monitor in front of my screen. Anyway, now I can finally walk around. So I'm doing WASD. Here's the school, the 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 desk, student desk. And from playing this game from start to finish, it, like this desk is very central. That's that's all I'm gonna say. Um. So this little guy's name is Cornelius. He's got little freckles. Okay, let's go to the caravan. I think you guys want to see movement. Okay, so which way did he point? I don't remember which way he pointed, but let's just go to the path here. Let's just walk along the path. Okay, should we talk to strangers? Okay. Um, okay, I see people like posting digits of pi in the chat. <laughs> I'm glad Hyperbolica's curvature isn't more extreme. Otherwise, the floor would appear so far from your head, you would just be looking down at your feet the entire time. I heard there's... Oh, there's way to experience that somewhere around here. Okay, uh, I need to find the caravan. Yeah, so, I guess if I want to start talking about how the hyperbolic world is different. Um, things that are in the distance become smaller much faster. So if let's say like from here, if we look in the distance, like look like in the center of the screen, you might be able to see a trampoline very small. And you might think based on the Euclidean world that that's like a mile away or something. But if we walk towards it, it actually approaches pretty quickly. And that's not just a fisheye lens illusion. It's actually because in hyperbolic space, um, as you like get further distance away from you, the perimeter of those like equidistant circles is really long. Basically, there's just a lot of space fit into the same distance in hyperbolic space. Oh my gosh, we're getting really high. Can I, can I get to the point where I can see the entire planet? Ugh, ah, not quite, not quite. Okay, see, I'm trying to get the entire circle in the screen at once. I don't think we'll be able to get there. Okay, but from here, I need to find the caravan. Okay, so I see... I don't see much. What's on this side? That just rocks. I see a guy with headphones. Let's talk to the guy with headphones. Ah! Good thing this game has no fall damage. 
Wake up! BrainLink is limiting creativity. They're, they only allow a limited set of avatar accessories and don't allow user-generated input. That's too bad. BrainLink. I feel like... BrainLink... You can often take, like... I, I remember that person said something boring. <laughs> not boring, but not non-essential to the game. Okay, we're gonna find this caravan. Okay. Star Stars Lock says, How are you, Carrie? I'm doing pretty well. Um, I actually just exercised before I started streaming, and I was worried I wasn't gonna make it in time by 5 p.m. But but I did. Well, I was two minutes late. Okay. Um Let's see. Uh, me does art says don't die, Carrie. It's actually impossible to die in this game. Okay. So I can't find the caravan, but let's talk to some more people. So this looks like a little outdoor pic- it's not a picnic, but they're at a table. Oh, what a cruel- why are you sad? There's nothing to be sad about. We've run out of tea and teapots, but we have lots of teacups. There's nothing to be sad about. Actually, this was something that I never finished. Like, when I beat the game last time, I never found the teapots. So I feel like that's an extra collectible trinket that I just never found. How are you supposed to have a stimulating conversation without the tea? Yeah, you need to spill the tea. That's that's what. Okay, so you can't jump on the table, but there are more people to talk to. This guy has a top hat. Okay, how do I talk to this guy? He's a very minty green. Okay. Um. Oh yeah. Um, in the chat, please don't ask for deadlines, because this this stream is just for me to enjoy a game that someone else produced, so let's try to keep it on the topic of this game. Okay, how do I, how do I, um, let's see if I can get to the people in the back. Blue guy, what do you have to say? All I want is a proper cup of tea. Okay. Actually, I was, I, was, I'm, I noticed this when I was beta testing. Some of the voices sound like Chinese to me, like some sort of muffled Mandarin Chinese, because if you listen to like the tones, wait, let talk again. Okay, it's very muffled, so maybe it's just me, like, hallucinating, but it sounds quite Chinese. Feelin' Foxy says this is like a British robot. Robot is Brit- oh, so you guys think it sounds British? You, you guys might be right. I mean, I guess maybe the way they're dressed more so. Okay, but you guys aren't the caravan, so we're gonna head elsewhere. Okay, let's head to... Well, let's ask Cornelius again. Oh wait, I see the caravan, it's right here. <laughs> like, as I was looking toward, um, toward Cornelius, I found the caravan. First, okay, let's talk to the caravan, and then I have some other thing I want to say. Oh my gosh! It's the Oracle! He's got, like, the spherical... When someone wears the spherical glasses, you know they're sort of, like, artsy. Or spiritual in some way. Greetings and felicitations. I see you're looking for some guidance. Relax as I help you... help... I search for the help you desire. Hmm, yes. That crystal ball looks quite polyhedral. You are lost, and so there's something locked away behind your grasp. How do I know? I am the oracle! I, I possess illustrious powers of divination. Since you are new here, perhaps I may provide you with some assistance. Please take this map with you on your journey. Oh, right. The map is very helpful, I will say that. Please use your map button to access the map, and the map mode button to change the projection. If you forget which buttons they are, you can always check the settings menu. And in case you find yourself lost again, please visit and I will use my power to advise you. Farewell, traveler. Goodbye. Oh, hi, Cornelius. You followed me, you stalker! Let me be! Now I can go on a grand adventure to unite the platonic crystals. Be because of the prophecy, the great prophecy, it tells of a chosen one who will collect... Five platonic crystals, okay? We gotta remember this. Five platonic crystals to ba some balance something. And the prophecy says there will be a, a plucky and lovable sidekick. That's me, right? Are you plucky, Cornelius? Can I, can I see your pluck meter? Um, the platonic crystals are scatter scattered across the land, and once they're reunited, they'll bring a new age of prosperity. You can go to different areas around here by traveling through portals, and once we get all the crystals, we'll meet up back here. For, you should ex for now, you should explore the things out. And I'll help you from the sidelines. That's what I'm good at. Just enjoy Hyperbolica and I'll be around whenever you need help. Good luck with the quest. Adventure awaits. 
I see he raised his hand, like, adventure awaits! That was, that's what he's doing. Okay, let's see what people are saying. I gotta respond, should I have, should I keep chat over here? Is that possible? So that you guys are always, oh, I guess, covered up. I guess I can't look at chat continuously. Helm Ethan says, pluck meter flashed. Um, Glizzy Puff says, Carrie, do you have a pet? I have, like, 30 pets. I have two cats and, like, an unlimited number of fish. The fish tank keeps, like, having too many fish. Um, Justin Sustin says, 69 likes. Nice. Egg Dog says, let's go. And Le Legit Epic Boss Gaming says, Carrie, do a four impression. Um, what does four say? You have been eliminated. I'm not very good at doing a, a, a four. Kitty Puff says thoughts on Cornelius. I like Cornelius. I think he's very supportive, and um, when, when we actually explore the world, you know, he gives me space, and then when I accomplish something, then he congratulates me. I guess that's a very small spoiler that he congratulates me, but he does. Okay, um, what was I going to do next? Oh, and yeah. Oh, where's the, where's the chat window? Put the chat window here. Okay, so F, no, R, E, I forget. Some key brings up the map. Oh, it's Q. So if you look at the map, this kind of is a projection of hyperbolic space that I think people are pretty familiar with in that things look like they get smaller as you get closer to the sides, but they're not actually smaller. It's just the projection. But what I think is really cool about this map is if you stand in the center, like near the um, desk, you can see there's like six little worlds, right? If you look in this distance, there's something white. Over here, there's something tan. Over here, something brown. Over here, there's something gray. And over here, there's something cyan. And over here, there's something dark green. I don't want to spoil what they are yet, but basically, it's six different worlds we can go visit. Okay. Um, Glizzy Puff says, make X say, funny when funny. I don't know if that's like a reference for something. Uh, okay, which one do you guys want me to head towards? I'll stand in the middle and then- should I do a poll? I've never done a, a poll before. Let's do a poll. Um, okay, but there's six options. So I will just- which- okay, which world should I go to? Okay, I'll just put- let's see, white, cyan, add options. Can I add- I can only add four options. White, cyan, um, dark, gray, Let's go with, what's the other option? Uh, brown. <laughs> we'll figure it out from there. Let's see, did that start the poll? Okay, I'll wait for a few minutes for the poll to gather responses. Actually, let's put it on the screen now. Let's watch the results. I'm letting, this is like Twitch plays Pokemon, but it's uh, YouTube plays Hyperbolica. Okay, everyone, Cyan is winning with 59% of the vote. That's like more than half, but that's probably with like two votes, I bet. Okay. Aiden the Meh says, Humany, will you respond to this? Well, I guess I already have. Anima Benny says, Cyan because cool. And Office Man Robot says, Humany, a small fiery is living inside of my neck. What does that mean? Does that mean that like your throat is on fire, like you ate something spicy? Um, well, if, if that's the case, then drink some milk or something. Leafy Cannon says, I'm playing BFDIA 5B, LOL. If you're playing, like, right now, then it's like we're simultaneously gaming, which is really cool. Just a Goofy Animator says, Make X say, Four! Why did you steal my crops? The Random Radish says, What's your favorite video game? Um, right now it's Hyperbolica. <laughs> I mean, that's because I'm playing it. I guess all time? Um, I think Achievement Unlocked by JMTB02 on Newgrounds, because, I mean, yeah. I just, I just love the simplicity and also funness of it. Okay. C-SR says, what is this game? It's called Hyperbolic. Just look at the description um, for results. Okay, Cyan won. We have 110 votes and Cyan has 58% of them. So we're going to the Cyan world. Okay, here we go. Oh, and actually I lied because, okay, let me put the map away. I lied because it's not just Cyan. Okay, we're here. There's also, it's like a checkerboard of cyan and pink. Okay, so we got like a, like a Greek style uh, pillar system. 
Let's talk to this guy. This is my first time visiting the Nemo. Are we talking about like finding Nemo? It's a pretty fancy gallery. I'm a little intimidated. There's nothing to be scared of. I, I, I like it when they always like do this thing where they're nervous. You can like really sense the emotion. Like what if I don't get the art? It's okay. Art is to be interpreted by the interpreter. It's not like these tests I cram for. Okay, that's fine. Um, so yeah. This is the, the Michelangelo's David, but it's low poly. So that means it's kid friendly, I guess. Um, but one thing I wanted to point out is if you look at any of these pink or cyan tiles, you can see they're square because there's like a little square grid on them. So every one of these tiles is a square, but when you come to stand on a corner, what's going on? There's six, six tiles coming together at a corner, yet every single one of them alone is a square. Oh, this guy has stars. Basically, that's something that happens in Hyperblock Space. If you're lost... Go speak with the oracle. I already did. His clues are cryptic, but he may help you find what you are looking for. Wait, should I lower the game volume? No, I'll, I'll leave it where it is. Um, okay. Do I end poll? End poll. 139 votes. That's a lot of voters. Nix is cool. Says, I used to be famous. You were sort of like a Viva La Vida Coldplay, right? I don't know if that's a bad reference. Kitty Puff says, damn, puffball robotty. Oh, okay, so Edward Wisely says the same thing. It sounds like Google Translate Mandarin. It, it, yeah, but it has some effect on it, so that's pretty cool. Um, UC8TV says, I'm making a brand new object show, and you are my inspiration. Well, that's really cool. I mean, if you upload it to your YouTube channel, it'll be a good way to get started, you know, um, dive in there and make it happen. Okay, so I'm going to keep playing, because I think... I want to at least collect one platonic crystal on my first session, and the stream is going to end in but by 6 p.m. because I got something to do at 6. So, so okay. This is the special thing. So, like, when you see these, like, radiating rectangles, that's a portal. So we're going to go in, right? Ooh! Rejected. We were rejected, guys. Hello! Are you, no, no, oh, you don't know yet, actually. Are you interested in visiting the Non-Euclidean Museum Obscura? That sounds fancy. We call it the Nemo for short. It's a very exclusive high art gallery. Unfortunately, I don't see you on the guest list, so I can't let you in. Yeah, so we can't go in. Oh, all that head shaking. If we keep trying, they can't stop, stop us all. We just have to barge in. Rapid fire, okay? Eventually you will let me in. You know, your head will get tired of shaking, you will run out of calories in your body, and, and you will your body will fall to the floor limp as I walk through the door, you know, flaunting my power. You just gotta let me in, in! Oh, you're getting closer, this is creepy. Okay, come on, let me in! Okay, your rules don't apply to me! Oh my god! This is not working! Okay, no, it's not gonna work. This is never gonna work. Okay, so, um... What we're actually gonna do is find the ticket, because he says we need a ticket ticket to get in. But, but okay. Look at this map. Like it's interesting, because when we were back in the green region, like it felt like this region was really small, but when we we're in, in this region, the green region looks really small. Um because there's only three cyan tiles that actually touch the grass world, as you see. There's only three. But then there's like 50 tiles once you get further in. So that I think that's a cool way to cram more space into a smaller world. Okay, so we gotta find gotta find a ticket. Do you have a ticket, mister? Architecture in Hyperbolica is really weird. Okay. It always looks too big and too small at the same time. That okay, that may that may be true. Um Okay. Let's see. I guess Glizzy Puff says make X say for you turn into a robot in this game. Cringe. I don't think that's cringe. These are all just independent robots. They're just living their life. Oh, this guy's got a tie on. What does he have to say? It's very common for people to get married in VR. They usually pay a premium to have their dream wedding simulated with, with all the bells and whistles. How much do you want to bet that that's going to start happening when Facebook starts the metaverse? Um, like, th there might be the first marriage. 
Um, okay. So anyway, I'm right next to the forest, so I might as well go in. Actually, I'll go to whatever got second place on the poll. Okay, let's, where's the poll? Okay. Second place on the poll, I scrolled up in the chat. White. White got 30%. So that's actually a pretty close second. And then Dark Rain, Brown got 1%, so no one actually wants me to go to Brown. So I'm in the wrong place. Okay, but before we go there, let's respond to some comments. Um, SBA Gamer 2046 says 4, cringe. Screeches. Um, Maximo Escalante says, this is Robody's paradise. And I agree, because like, he'll be around people who, who are like him. He'll be very familiar. He won't be a minority. He'll be in the majority. Um, Star Lo Stars Lock says, Carrie, can you say as X, Would you like an Among Us flavored Pop-Tart? I wouldn't like that. Radioactive Potato says, hello, I'm famous. Wingo says, make X say, Traffic Con is the best food! Okay, Lasers World says, it's 8pm and the stream isn't over. Well, that's because I am in the Pacific time zone, so... It's only 5.28. Actually, you can even see it, see it in my stream in the corner. It's 5.28 p.m. Different time zones exist. You gotta learn, you guys. The world spins and different parts are in night and daylight at different times. Okay, we're going to the white section. Because that's what got the second most votes. And as you can see as we're closer, it's, it's snowy. So it's like very cold. I can see you're talking with everyone you meet. That's interesting. If I remember correctly, someone else used to go around and do that too. I bet it was Cornelius. Okay. You know you can make yourself feel cold with the latest BrainLink update? It's amazing. Forget using third party or hacked rigs. Not that I would know anything about those things. Wait, I think that's actually really, um, a really crazy thought is like, if VR gets good enough that it can affect other senses than just sight and vis uh, sight and hearing, then, like, we'd be able to sense sense heat, sense pain, sense smells, maybe. Okay, whatever. Bye. So, like I said, the most important part to go to is the portal. And I believe this one we can actually go into. But first, let's talk to this this tough guy with the sunglasses. Looks like there's a ceasefire at Frosted Fields, so we're letting in tourists now. Okay, let's see. Frosted Fields, I guess that's the name of this location. Okay, so this is the first time we actually get to travel to a new world. Oh my god. Hi, Cornelius! He came with me! Don't forget about me. Frosted Fields is a great place to look for a platonic crystal. Especially now, since there's a ceasefire. Yeah, there's a literal Cold War happening right here. Snow what I mean. Oh, that was, that was a good pun. Everyone should just chill. Eh? Get it? Well, we should probably ask around and find a platonic crystal. We must fulfill our destiny and collect all five. Five? Yeah, I said there were five, right? Five. Oh, he's sweating a lot. You can see his like, little sweat drops. So yeah, go explore and have an ice day. I think um, when, when I hear like platonic crystal, I'm sure like you and I are both thinking that there's five platonic solids. Right? There's the tetrahedron, there's the dodecahedron. Why am I holding up so many different Rubik's cubes? Um, there's the cube, icosahedron, and, and octahedron. So I bet each one is like one of those five shapes. I like my milk like I like my wars. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're, they're doing a war? Say no to war, let's do peace instead. Cold. Oh my god, like, oh my god. Ugh. I guess it's a literal cold war. At any time, the ceasefire could end and the Frosted Fields will become an active battle zone. Well, let's try to do everything we can to stop that. Okay, so I want to enjoy the snow as much as I can before the two sides start fighting again. Okay, well, let's, let's see um, what we can do to try to prevent fighting. Um, that red guy with the beanie on the other side of the fence is very suspicious. I'm going to keep an eye on him. Okay, so red guy with the beanie. Do you see? Wait. I, okay, I can see the red guy with the beanie from here, but if I move closer, like, the bar in the middle covers them up. Wait, is he pushing me? Are you pushing me? Oh my god, this guy pushed me. I have to push back. Okay, um... Let's see. So I think I already talked to that guy, I'm not really sure. So this part, this catapult I'm coming to, 
was part of the trailer. So I remember when I first played it, I was very excited to give it a try. Because I wanted to see if I could it could actually fling me. But um, there's absolutely no way to do it. Like you can try clicking all over the place, but it's not going to happen. Okay, click. I'm a planner first and captain second. I always ensure those under my command are both properly cared for and combat ready. You see, we always have two battles to fight. One in our minds and one in our bodies. We believe in milk first. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I guess this side of the front says milk first and the other side says cereal first and must defend it at any cost. So, yeah. I mean, I'm personally a cereal first person and I, I do think that most people are. Like, I think it's like 80%, 20%. Okay, this guy doesn't look as angry. He has, like, normal eyes. Cereal first? How could anyone like having soggy cereal? Well, I'm, I'm one person who's cereal first. I know, it makes no sense. Okay. So, I know what's gonna happen when I talk to this guy. These adults and their stupid war, it's really getting on my nerves. Yeah, I mean, who really cares if you put my cereal first or milk first into your bowl? And I just want to, like, hang out and have fun with the kids on the other side of the fence. Yeah, it's pretty nice that the camera, like, like, pans to the person that you're talking to. That's why we've got a plan to stop fighting between... Stop the fighting between the, the milk first and cereal first armies. It's pretty brilliant if I do say so myself. We could use all the help we could... I guess I, I'm trying to talk higher pitch just because uh, the pink person's voice is higher pitched. But how can we trust you to keep our secret? Yeah, we just like, met you. If you really want to help us stop the fighting, then you gotta prove yourself first. Beat us at a snowball fight and you can join our secret plan. If you hit us each with enough snowballs, you'll each pass- you'll pass the test. So are you in? So this is the first of the mini games, and I'm gonna just press E. Like, E is the, like, enter key. Like, it's- it's what's gonna start things. And the first time I played this game, it, like, I had a lot of trouble. It was very hard for me. Don't go easy on us just because we're kids. Okay, okay, it's, it starts. So we, I press E to, to throw snowballs at him. And there's three of them, right? But if I get hit, then I lose HP. Um, and I already lost. See, that's how quickly you lose in these things. If you can't throw a snowball, then how can you keep a secret? Try again if you dare. So, like, you have to beat this game in order to progress. And I think what I found out when I played this game is that uh, one way to beat them more easily is just to, like, spam throw snowballs at them when they're really close. And then, like, until... One at a time. You gotta attack them one at a time. Are you in? Yeah. You gotta hit each of us five times if you want to win. This game is all about the number five. Okay, here we go. I'm nervous because I could spend like an hour losing at this game, but I can't because... Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you're... Ugh. Oh, that wasn't good. That was... Should I try a different game? Because like this one might take me like ten tries. Okay. Guatemala Ball says, is it just me or I'm the only country ball here in the stream? I actually didn't know that like people, there are enough channels that like identify as country balls that there would be multiple. Oh, Fizzy Lil pointed something out that I just realized. The bots look a lot like Eva from Wally. -E. Okay, and then Glizzy Puff says, Carrie, make tennis ball say, golf ball is a canine. Interesting. I guess golf was a dog. Christian says, Carrie, do you know about the, the 5B HTML5 version? I think I've, like, heard some, like, like, what do you call them? Like, rumblings? Like, somewhere I've, I've heard that someone's working on it, and I was going to look into it deeper at some point in the future, but, like, I know something is happening, and I think that's really cool, and I think at some point, you know, maybe I should, like, get in contact and help them because, you know, I have the source files. Okay, sit, sit, C says, make X say, Writing's not easy! That's why Grammarly can help! Okay, and then, uh, Monsen says make tennis balls say, brah! R Rice Studio says, can't believe we're versing kids. What does it mean to verse a kid? I don't know. Um, Technical Lol says, hello, Carrie. I always, I will always carry about your Jack and Jelfy uploads, and can you say my name in, in X's voice? Technical LOL! Okay, that, that was a good, good break, but we need to get back to business. You gotta try harder. I'm trying my hardest. 
Here we go. You think you can beat us in a snowball fight? Okay. So, I gotta get close to one of them and then just fire rapid fire. I'm getting hit a lot. Okay, that was not good. Okay. Uh, I need to focus and not, like, distract myself by talking. I need to avoid- maybe I do need to avoid their snowballs. Oh, don't insult me, I'm trying. Show us what you got. There, he, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. You're next, you're next, you're next, you're next. Okay, well, I, I got rid of one person. You can tell, like, when they get hit five times, they kind of fall asleep. So I just need to make sure they all fall asleep. Ugh, you're too far away. Get closer. Okay, you're my target. Dang, okay. I might have to switch to a different game. Because I know there's other ones that are a little easier. You think you can beat us in a snowball fight? Here we go. Okay, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. No, no. Oh, I gotta get closer. Ah. Uh, don't be hard on yourself, bro. Try again. Okay, this will be my last time, and then I'll go to a different world. Because sometimes, like, sometimes you just don't have it in in it. Like, you need to wait for a different day. So this will be my last attempt. Um, I think... I... Okay, Feelin' Foxy says, hashtag stop snowball abuse. Well, once I beat these games in a snowball fight, then we will stop throwing snowballs at each other. Um, Josh Cat Gaming 110 says, X, stop despawning me for 200 is greater than 4. Well, 200 is a bigger number than 4. Um, let's see. Pugacorn Pegasus says, make tennis ball say, Gold ball? Why? Gold ball? Why? Gold ball? Where do tennis. No, gold. It's gold ball. Gold ball? Where do tennis balls come from? And in case you want golf ball, where do tennis balls come from? I just did both in case it was a typo. Um, let's see. Rocky Riddle says, can you please give us a hint for the new BFDI Plus in development? There is one, but I can't say anything about it. But I guess I will say that it is not the cheese orb. That's all I can say. It's not the cheese orb. Okay, let's see. I guess, honestly, last attempt, and then I'll go to a different world. I don't think I'm going to win. No. They keep running away from me. This isn't going to work. They keep running away. Stop running away! Okay. Uh, okay, we're going somewhere else. By the way, this block, this giant, like, rectangular prism of material, when I first played the game, I was like, what the heck is this? Is this a bug? But there's a secret hiding within this, so it'll play a role later. Okay, we're going back to the main world. We are- where's- where's the log cabin? Oh, the log cabin's way over there! I see Cornelius kind of just strolling around. Hi, Cornelius. It's nice to see an old friend who won't throw snowballs at me. I wanted to tell you another ice pun, but it slipped my mind! Ha 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 ha! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I, I didn't ask for two jokes, I only asked for one. <laughs> I didn't even read the second joke, I feel bad. Okay, auto save. Um, okay, let's go to whatever world was- whatever option was ranked third. Uh, let's go- oh no, I, I remember it wasn't brown, so it was the dark gray. Let's go to the dark gray one. Okay, Ashley de, de Hode says, Happy Pi Day, slash. Yes, Happy Pi Day, 3.141592653535, and so on. Um, Office Man Robot says, Carrie, praise the cheese orb. Okay, praise to the cheese orb. I don't know, is that how I do it? Okay, we're gonna go to the city now. Wait, oh, wait. I was already in the main world. Right, yeah, because the main world has a little bit of all all the characteristics of the side worlds. So you just gotta remember to walk to the center. And then you go to... 
Okay, so the dark gray area is the city, and this place has already been already been featured in devlogs. Hello. It's a common misconception that being high up lets you see farther away. Is that not true? Oh, it's not true in Ecuadorica. In fact, it's often the opposite. Is she pushing me also? That's okay. I gotta accept being pushed. What does this guy have to say? Hello, I'm doing a survey on citizens of Hypertrop- Oh, that's the name, Hypertropolis. Out of these options, which do you find the most interesting? Finding treasure, flying drones, exercise. Let's do a poll. I can't answer because I don't have an opinion for myself. I need to ask you guys, <laughs> which is the most interesting? I know there's like a 15 second delay. Finding treasure, flying drones, and then I gotta add an option. Exercise. Okay, ask your community. Um, honestly, I don't think that this actually has a, uh, an effect on the game. Okay, let's see. Parpar -par says, this game's camera is kind of weird. You think there's just a wall background and then you move close and there's actually more town. Yeah, it's part of, like, getting familiar with hyperbolic space. Let's see. Rocky Riddle says, um, which manufacturer made all these BFDI plushes? I'm, of course, including Pen in the new version of Fiery. I don't know if I'm allowed to say, just because, like... The company themselves didn't give me permission to talk about it, so yeah, I don't want to like break any contracts. So I'm not gonna say. Let's see. Toby says it's my birthday today. Can you wish me a happy birthday? Happy birthday, Toby! I hope you have a wonderful birthday. Go out and frolic in the field. Yeah. All NF all FNF character says 2,763 times 30 equals 82,360. Thank you for the math. Um, and then. Wait, Glizzy Puff, I've, I've given you so many voice requests already. Make X say, Red Eye is a canine! Agree with me! Cowwater says, Could you m maybe help me out with animation a bit? Um, if you're working on your object show, and animating is the hardest part, like, I agree that it's hard, but I think animatics are a good first step. Okay, finding treasure is the, the correct answer. Um, so, like... Uh, like, having a still image every two seconds that shows more expressiveness, I think, is better than trying to make every single second have- every single, like, frame have meticulous animation. Because, like, a lot of times people just want to, uh, see the, the expressions. Okay, so, yeah, I guess my conversation with him ended, but here's another video game that we can try, a mini game. So this- this thing here is known as a quadcopter, it's like a drone. And this guy, well, I know from experience, this guy's a little arrogant, but he, he has a VR headset on. So let's talk to him. Hey, didn't see you there. I'm piloting my drone to get some cool pictures of the city. Hypertropolis is amazing. And for your information, I'm a highly proficient pilot and the undisputed champion of hyperbolic drone racing. I've won, I've won hundreds of awards. Maybe even thousands! So yeah, I'm kind of a big deal! What? You don't believe me? Ha! Ah, that's some pretty brash talk for someone as uneducated as yourself! I've got some advice for you, buddy! Better quit before I kick your butt! So hard you topology will need a higher genius! Oh my god, that's... Okay, that's a pretty... <laughs> Pretty deep joke, but a pretty brutal joke too. You dare to challenge me? Challenge me! Let's do it. Fine, I'll spawn you another drone! I'll try to explain it simply for a newbie like you! I can't. This voice is too much. This voice is too much. We're just gonna. Alright, block, and let's go! I just wanted to give him a different personality, but I didn't realize he was gonna talk so much. Okay, so this one. I have also lost quite a few times, um, but it didn't, like, eventually I won five. I think there's 43 rings I have to go through, but you can see the opponent over there. Like, I think the way you beat him is just by, like, cutting corners. So, like, if you have to round a turn, try to turn a little sooner than him. And also try to make sure that you don't lose sight of where the next ring is, because sometimes it'll bend pretty hard. Like, there, I bend pretty hard, and I- oh god, it's getting close. Oh, 
and if you hit anything like that tree, I've hit that tree before, your drone just explodes and like you lose. So you can't hit anything. Oh my, why is it so close? I didn't want this to be so intense. Ugh. See, okay, there it's kind of hard to see where the next ring will be. Okay, uh, why so close? Why so close? Oh, okay, okay, we're pulling. No, we're not pulling ahead. Ah, uh, this is gonna be down to the wire. Holy crap. Oh, oh. Okay, it, if I lose, he's gonna like crap talk me and like make fun of me. So I have to win so he doesn't make fun of me. Why is this one so high up? Uh, okay, now this one's really low. Oh, oh, I oh, oh. If, if, if I hit that post, it would be over. I've, I've hit that lamppost before and lost, so you can get very close to the end. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, I won! <laughs> First try! Oh, wait! It, for... Okay. What? What? You beat me! That's right! Drone guy. I guess I should come clean! I'm not really a champion drone racer! That's what I thought. Yes! No, ever. I'll keep practicing more until I'm really good! You'll never be good, just face it. Thank thanks for the challenge! I'm sorry about being such a jerk! It was no challenge, I beat you easy. I guess I just masked my insecurities by exerting a full sense of bravado! Listen, I'm not your therapist. Still, you deserve a prize, but all I have is this graphing calculator! So, here you go! What's a graphing calculator gonna do for me? I already have one. See you later, pal! I don't think I'll ever see you again. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um... Well, okay. I'm- okay. I'm glad I won that, because despite everything I said earlier, I actually didn't think I was going to win. But what's fun is that I can now go to my trinkets menu, and I have the map, because we went to the oracle earlier, and then we also have a graphing calculator. And I think that's just very nice. Great for math, but mostly used to covertly play video games in class. Oh my god, I'm, I feel like I'm being called out, because... Like, I have multiple memories of playing graphing calculator games in class, and then the teacher would, like, call me out on it, and then, like, she'd walk to my desk, and then confiscate it, and then, like, the whole class would laugh. Well, they wouldn't laugh, but it would, it would just be very awkward. Okay. So, that was the drone game. It's actually a fun game, because you get to see a lot of the world at once. Um, but the real treat of Hypertropolis is this place. It's called the Infinity Cafe. Let's talk to this guy to see what he thinks. Have you been to the Infinity Cafe? Wait, first let me see what the chat is saying because I, I have kept it minimized for a while. Okay. Okay. Yorkie Paws says, Carrie, or Humany, a user on this platform we claim as YouTube. Oh, you, like, as a user on this platform we claim as YouTube. I would like to confess that I love Tennis Ball romantically from the series BFGI. Well, Yorkie Paws, I love you too! Uh, but only joking. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, Lee Sion says, Hi, Carrie, I have a little animation idea, but I need Marker to say, What? Zero divided by zero! There you go. And Leafy Cannon says, I'm going to go now, I'm very tired, lol. Bye, have a nice day, night! I hope you have a nice day and night too, Leafy Cannon, and I love your profile picture. Office Man Robot 7 says, Carrie, can you make Bracelet you say, I'm so glad people started quotes about me! Okay, uh, Anima, Anima Benny says, Friend Zone from Tennis Ball. Well, you know, Tennis Ball just isn't ready for that stage yet. Rice Studio says, Can you say in X's voice, please, This! This banana pie tastes great! Roblox guy 115 says, Carrie, why was Pin holding the middle finger? She was holding the middle finger because she wanted to express that only one of us can win. And she just didn't know how else to do it. Like, she just looked at her finger, she picked the longest one, and she was like, this Oh, I almost did it, but I just... I can't. Um, she was just like, this is the number of people who can win. I believe this is like the the waiter person. I hope you enjoy the Infinity Cafe. We're a little busy, but I'm sure you'll find our service is exquisite. Okay, let's visit. I trust you, waiter. Here we go. We're entering the Infinity Cafe. Here we go. Oh, this was also in the devlog, so. Oh, hi, Cornelius. I'm right behind you. As your loyal sidekick on our very important quest, I must keep you informed on Hyperbolica. This is the Infinity Cafe. It's bigger on the inside. 
Unfortunately, I've been banned from. You've been banned? The game complains about your singing? Wait. <laughs> I, I didn't know you were that type of person, Cornelius. I feel like you, this guy, it's got guts to sing in a cafe when no one else wants you singing. I wish there was something we should do to help them out. So the interesting thing about the Infinity Cafe is that the corners are infinitely far away. So we can pull up the map and see that like this corner is just, we'll never reach it because it's like infinitely far away. But, you know, the rest of the cafe it looks like it's in this tiny sliver now. Right, like it's a very small hole in the wall. But actually, if you walk closer and you go behind this wall, it's actually enormous. And we, like, we can talk about that later. I'm, I'm walking on you guys' table because you guys aren't eating, so clearly I can walk on your food. But I guess we should talk to the, the what do you call it? Front desk person first? Hello. Welcome to the Infinity Cafe. I think this person's voice also sounds like Mandarin. In case this is your first time at a ca virtual cafe, let me explain how it all works. All the food here can be tasted and smelled via brain link sensory processing. We've coded all that into our dishes. This is getting a little dystopian. While it smells and tastes divine, please note that the food has no nutritional value since it's still virtual. Unfortunately, we're, we're a little short staffed right now, so the wait is rather long. In the meantime, please feel free to have a look around the cafe. Is there anything I can help you with? Why is it called Infinity Cafe? How does virtual food taste? I want to know the second one. Like, does it actually taste like it's sloshing around in your mouth? All our virtual food is developed and coded by our amazing chefs. So your chefs are actually software engineers. It's quite an interesting blend of uh, skill sets. Then, then the brain link presses the flavors by pulling them from your biometric signature and memory. So it's based on memory. So food might taste different depending on the user, just like a like at a real restaurant. And don't forget, if you get lost, the entrance is here in the yellow section. Oh, I think this might be because of me, because I told, I told Code Parade that I got lost in the Infinity Cafe because I forgot that the front desk was in the yellow section. Because if you go deeper into the cafe, which I'm gonna do, like you can see the ceiling is yellow or it's kind of like yellow tinted. If you go to the center of the cafe and look around, there's like this bar in the middle. Um, and then there's actually four different sections. So there's the green section here, there's the blue section over there, and there's the red section here. And if you forget for a moment that you, you need to go back to the yellow section to come back home, it's just a lot of space to explore. Um, so, I think, like, all these people have their own little conversations and side stories, but there's a lot of people, so I can't talk to all of them. I've been thinking about unicorns a lot lately. They seem to pop into my head out of nowhere. Well, maybe we should stop thinking about them because they don't exist. I know of a few secret societies. One of them thinks they know everything. The other thinks they know nothing. As you can imagine, they have a rivalry of sorts. Well, I am somewhere in between the two. So it's kind of cool to see that like each, like every single person in this cafe, and I bet there's like a hundred of them, they all have like their own little dialogue and conversations. Lots of people make the avatar completely different from who they are in real life. That doesn't surprise me. Um, but like it doesn't actually move the story along. But I'm going to get to the part that actually does. And since it's 5.55, the stream is going to end soon. But I want to get to the third mini game just to show it off. Okay, hey kiddo, can I talk to you for a minute? It's been a tough week for the staff here. A lot of people are coming to the cafe now and our servers can't keep up. Oh no, they're panicking, they're overloaded. We're proud of our food and service, but the wait times have been getting longer and longer. If it's not too much trouble, could you pitch in and help us out? Swing by the kitchen in the back of the blue section. I promise we'll compensate you for your hard work. Thanks a million, kid. Yeah, so he's gonna, he's telling us where to go next. And, um, oh, by the way, this, this lavender lady is like a startup person. Like she starts her own companies and she looks for investing and all that. And I tried to help her last time, but in this time I just don't have time for you. Okay, so we're gonna go, see like there's so many different backs to the blue region. Like you think you found the back of the blue region, but it's, it's, it's not the central back. There's multiple backs. Um, but there is a kitchen. Um, See, there's the kitchen. Okay, so here we have a waiter and a chef. Let's talk to the waiter first. Listen, if you aren't too busy, would you mind helping out a little bit just for a lunch rush? 
We really need the help. We just need you to pick up orders and serve food. I know it can be confusing to have navigate around here, but do your best. Just talk to our chef. I think it's funny that they just are employing a random person off the street. Like, they don't know if I if I have credentials. Maybe I'll poison your food, and, and you just don't know because you haven't interviewed me. Okay, yeah, the lunch rush is just busy. They're getting swarmed. Can you help us out? Sure. Great. Because this cafe is so big, we gotta move really fast to get the orders out on time. So I hope you don't mind if I put some roller skates on. <laughs> They're gonna put roller skates on me. This is like a lot for a first timer. When you find the right table, just throw the grub. We're in a hurry. Okay, wait, actually before I uh, start the game, let me just pull up the chat so that I make sure people aren't, um, like, nothing wrong is happening with the stream. Okay. Uh, radioactive potato hashtag save Ukraine says, Hey Carrie, make X say, I love being in Hollywood! And Levi's Magic 2.0 UA says, Carrie, can you say, Lightning, you are great! And I did. Um, Stampy Cat 2 says, Ooh, but I know what you really want to see is me play this game. And we have two minutes before the stream has to end, and we have 90 seconds on the clock, and we have to serve 10 people. So let's do this. So this will give you a, like, this game I wanted to show you because it really gives you a sense of how big this cafe really is. Okay, we press Q. Oh, I broke it! But the good thing about the minigame is it gives you second chances. But just remember, like, when we were in the corner, in the lobby, how small it seemed? Oh yeah, that was pro. Where, where do I go? Where do I go? Okay, we gotta go over there. Okay, we gotta... Um... When I was a kid, I played this video game called... Where, where do I go? Oh, there. Uh, Simpsons Road Rage, which came out in the early 2000s. And it has the same look of... You know, you want to get to a destination with a very limited time, and the destination is kind of glowing vertically in yellow of, like, the destination, and <laughs> very often you make it to the, like, the destination, but you're being really reckless, <laughs> and, and, like, cars get crashed along the way. It's kind of like Grand Theft Auto, but, like, sillier. Okay, okay, we're not gonna make it. I, I still have five more to, to serve. Oh my god, see, if I get too close to the corners, I'm wasting time, because... No one, no one is eating food in the corners. I don't need to go there. Ah! Okay, I keep getting hit. I keep crashing into bars. Okay. <sighs> got, you got your cake, happy? Okay, we gotta serve this muffin, or cupcake, whatever it is. We have six seconds, can we at least get eight out of ten? Oh no, okay, you're getting your cupcake. And one more, 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 Oh, didn't make it. Oh, actually, there are some are roller skates. Drats, wanna try that again? I will next time, but the stream's gotta end at 6 p.m. So I gotta say bye to everyone. This one is a hard game, but it is satisfying when you finally win. Okay, so it is 6 p.m. as you can see here, so gotta go. But I really wanna say like huge props and kudos to Code Parade for finishing this game and like creating a game concept that hasn't really been tried before. I mean, I know Hyper Rogue is another hyperbolic game, but in terms of like this 3D world with like characters that you talk to and like there's a lot of kind of physics and moving around. I, I really feel like it's one of a kind. So congrats to Kevin for finishing it to the end. And I will say bye to everyone in the chat. Why are you looking at me? Bye, bye, why are you looking at me? Bye, Glow Gloom. Bye, Marky DiCiccio. Bye, Josh Cat Gaming 110. Okay, I gotta say it faster. Bye, Christian. Bye, Croakin. Bye, M. Al Jader. Bye, Keon Sharma. Bye, Pixie Fun Pup, by Darcy's World of Fandoms, by Chiaka Pogging, by Cosmos Frimpog, by Kiwi Star Artistic Birdie, by Sandy Stars, by Rocky Riddle. Wait, one last question for me. I, I missed it. I missed it. Where is it? Where is it? It's not about BFB plushes. It's, it's about Teapot. When will Teapot 2 release? Again, um, uh, one rule of these streams is like, let's not talk about deadlines because I'm just here to have fun and not thinking about work, you know? Um, EE says, make X say, play a patty cake with me or I'm leaving you alone forever! Bye, Sitsi. Bye, Jervin, Sevilla. Bye, Alvarado, Star, YT64. Can you make tennis balls say in tennis balls voice, I love playing Mario. I love playing Mario Tennis on N64. Bye, Malacha Reds. Bye, Lisa Arteels. Bye, OFC. Bye, Anima Benny. Bye, Fluff Powder. Bye, Matheus, Pasuti, Dos Santos. Bye, Olision. Bye, Cheese. Bye, Chiaka Pogging. Bye, Jifster. Bye, uh, Kitty Puff. Bye, Speedy. Bye, Pizza Kiddo 710. Bye, Reese Studios. Bye, OFC. Bye, oh, I think that's the second time. Bye, David Galvin, by Muhammad Ahmed, by Little Jackson 2013. Wait, does